It's interesting to see that the trend line isn't necessarily saying that people are less active in religion or that they're less interested in religion, but they're just less interested in the dues model that has kind of been set out for the past hundred years. Gallup first asked Americans about church membership in 1937, finding that 73% of people belong to a place of worship. In 2020, the same study by Gallup found that church membership is under majority for the first time, with 47% of Americans saying they belong to a church, synagogue, or mosque. Rabbi Stephen Abraham with Bethel Synagogue says the study doesn't mean people are losing their faith in religion. People just might be worshiping in a different way. Some folks are looking for ritual, right? And that consistency of, you know, in Judaism, we pray three times a day, right? Having that as an aspect for them, that means something. Um, you know, other people want to find meaning or spirituality, right, in other places, right? They, they feel that when they go for a hike or they go for a lecture or they do other things. The study says the decrease in membership is tied to an increase in Americans having no religious affiliation along with generational differences. I don't think that existed the same way, that freedom perhaps, 30, 40, 50 years ago. So therefore, that generation that's now, you know, synagogue members or church members or what have you, um, it's just commonplace for them to pay into the system. Whereas perhaps my generation is saying, well, wait a second, right? I can do some of this on my own. We'll continue to be online, I imagine forever at this point. Gallup says it's possible that part of the decline in membership seen last year could have been temporary and related to the pandemic, which changed things for every religion. Stephen King, priest in charge with Trinity Episcopal Cathedral, says some of the changes were beneficial. It's kind of a neat deal in lots of ways because you can actually visit 12 churches on a Sunday morning or whatever you want to do uh, across the world and get different experiences, and I think that has some advantages. It's hard to estimate just how many people have decided to stick with virtual worship despite churches being open again, which would affect membership numbers. But King says the experience of sitting in the pews, surrounded by people who share your faith, isn't something that can be replicated online. Being a part of a local community that's serving its local community and connected to its neighbors and knowing who they are and helping address the needs that they have um, is critical to a church's life. Reporting in Omaha, Danielle Meadows, 3 News 